evening, people. We are back in full force, back into the swing of work in this new year, 2025. So, yeah, next one is a bit of an odd one for me. So normally I don't do jobs that other people are diagnosed, but there are the occasions I do. And when I do, I let the customer know that I advise... Firstly, that I carry out a diagnosis. That way, if it happens to be wrong, that's on me. Obviously, I can't be liable for somebody else's or responsible for li uh, for somebody else's misdiagnosis. Um, so I always let them know that first and always recommend that first. But this lady was said the person was pretty adamant. It was an expansion vessel, so that is quite a common part unusual that an expansion vessel is misdiagnosed so i ordered one for the job ready anyway go there obviously i also tell them that if they still want me to go ahead and fit that part then again if it doesn't work it's still chargeable works anyways let's have a look at what happens here all i got told was that boiler needs a new expansion vessel boiler off the wall job um because it's a worcester green star vertical flue there is a little bit of space above so personally i don't think the boiler would have had to come off the wall but to get to the prv normally it makes it easier i know there are other ways of doing it but it's generally just easier so yeah pretty quick taking the boiler off the wall anyway you're looking at under an hour's work to whip that off the wall fit the expansion vessel and get it all back up and running again so i'm happy to take them off the wall if needs be uh what else with this one Oh, she was also told that over a thousand pounds for the expansion vessel. Probably should have sparked alarm bells ringing. But anyway, have a look at the job, see what you think and hope you enjoy. So we are at this Worcester Green Star Junior and basically I've come here on the basis that somebody else has recommended the expansion vessel be replaced. But it seems to be holding. I'm going to check the charge properly in a minute. But Seems like a decent amount of air in there. And they've been here a while ago, so even if they charged it up, it seems to be holding. But this is the hot water running now. And after a minute or so, we just cut out. Sounds like heat exchangers may be starting to scale up a bit. I'm gonna pause this until it starts to cut out still running about a minute later but also the lady has said that over the last few weeks the water started to go hot cold hot cold so i think my first course of action is gonna check that expansion vessel take the plate out give that a clean obviously in doing that we can see the water condition so here it is i don't know if you can hear the scale Yeah, I think let's open the system up, see what we got there, see what kind of water condition is, and take it from there. But I would say the expansion vessel looks okay. So here we are, boiler's got the drain off open. Let's connect up. So that vessel seems fine, to be honest. <clears throat> so I'm gonna strip this out, see what we've got inside with the plate and whatnot, and take it from there. So here we are, I've got the hot water and boiler drained down. Everything's drained and open. So I'm gonna remove the plate thinking I might have to take over the flow manifold out or the pump light expansion connection just to make life a little bit easier but we'll see looks like there's a decent amount of space behind there pink bucket of course what other colour would it be
makes a little bang out. See muck coming out of there, so I'm gonna give it a proper bang out and then let's see what we catch. Before I do that, you can see it's definitely got some something or other in there, so that will make a difference. see some bits come out without running anything through it let's give it a shake now there we go Like a little mini main splash. You can see all the bits coming out. So I'll put some chemical in there. Some power flush cleanser just to speed it up a bit. And I've poured some boiling water in there because that chemical activates at like around 60 degrees. So we will leave that to do its magic a little bit. I normally use one shot, but I don't actually have any. And I'm gonna try and think of a way to adapt something or other to get some into the main heat exchanger. So bear with me. So I have made up this adapter. I am not sure it's gonna work, but I've not really got anything else on the van at the moment. I'm gonna try and put it into here. I'm sure someone in the comments will give me a better example and give me an idea of what to use. But at the moment, this is what we've got. It's going in. We've got the chemical running around the boiler. We've got the isolation valve switched off still. Had to open them a tiny bit just to pressurize the boiler because it kept cutting out. Put some water in there, but yeah, that's running. And should be circulating that chemical around the main heat exchanger, around the plate heat exchanger. And that's it really. Hopefully it will clean it out. I will flush it through and then hope for the best. But it's now been running about 10 minutes and the hot water hasn't cut out once, which is a good sign because the lady said it was cutting out pretty much within a couple of minutes. So yeah. So I've just loaded up the van, uh, turned the bathroom basin off and now I'm running the bath tap. Don't know why, just trying it. And again, it's been running about 10 minutes, not cut out once, which is a good sign. Don't know how an expansion vessel was diagnosed, but yeah, I'll show you. That's the pressure. Obviously, I've not run the heat in yet. I'll do that in a minute. But yeah, it's not moved from where I put it to fill it up. 